UI Builder video series and in the last video we saw that that how we can add a confirmation and rejection message uh, uh, for our rating widget whenever it is failing or succeeding uh, any event. Now if you remember in the last one when we added this our client script and in the hooking of the client script we added this script. So it's the time to explain this script. So basically what we are doing is that whenever this uh, script is being called from any of the event. So first we are uh, checking that from where this uh, script is being called. So our data broker name was create record uh, underscore one. So basically it says that uh, this script is being uh, called from this uh, data broker event. And then in this line, this line is pretty important. So basically this is the item which we are passing in our emit function as a JSON object. So right now, what we are having it as an empty one. And then this line number 40, which says that if my event name is data OP succeeded. So it says that if my element ID of data broker is create record one, and the event that uh, this data broker has emit is succeed event. So once it is done, then we can execute our code for succeed event. Now, this is the crucial part line number 41 that how we came up with this one event.payload.data.output, this whole big uh, JSON object. So yeah, and then for that, let me let me explain here. So let's let's walk 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 everyone through, right? So uh, after line number forty, can you just press enter? Uh, and there you can just put uh, a debugger, yeah. Put a semicolon and save it. And now let's go back to the browser. Make sure you open your inspect window. Let me uh, just do that. Let me refresh it. Let me give some rating. Mm -hmm. So we see that it is paused in our debugger because we have put one debugger and now it has put it on uh, this one. So yeah, go, go back, go back to the console. Let me just make it bigger. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just type event and press enter. Okay. Now let's explore this. So you see name is equal to data. OP succeeded is where it came from. And then there is a payload, payload dot, uh, what we had, we data. had, uh, uh, what was, oh yeah, payload dot data dot output dot data collection. And then again, explore the, no, 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 explore the, yeah, mutation object as well. Yeah. You see, that's is where we got the action name, like insert KB feedback. And that's how we built that particular uh, line what what we saw there so yeah, yeah. so let's go anything, like any anything any client script where uh, it's basically a simple debugger a javascript debugger what we put and we can debug like this in future if you wanna if, if you have any errors or anything else we wanna look at it this would be the best place and basically it's not a new component or anything it's pretty much famous if you are doing anything on react or angular or any other front end libraries any javascript uh, for that matter yeah it comes pretty handy so yeah so uh, you uh, so guys you see that that how we can use debugger to get this uh, object details so if i come here and if i check it this one so this insert kb feedback so we are checking this one if the output is not null then uh, we are getting the data so insert kb feedback is a proper json object so that's why we are getting the success one so this is the way that uh, how we can do the debugging and in the future we're gonna see that how we can uh, uh, debug for server side as well but yeah. that's it uh, in this video thank you folks thank you